Hey guys, today we gonna talk about the CIA triad. No, not an intelligence agency. But a security model of organization. So, what is it? CIA here stands for confidentiality, integrity and availability. So, let me discuss confidentiality first. It's simply meant to keep the data private. And also mean to protect the data from unauthorized access. Typically, this involves ensuring that only those who are authorized have access to specific assets and that those who are unauthorized are actively prevented from obtaining access. As an example, an employee of a company wants to access the salary details of all of the company employees. Can he? Well, it depends upon access. If he has the access or necessary permission to such critical data, then he can otherwise know. Confidentiality can be violated if the system has flaws that can be exploited. For example, weak authentication system, failure to encrypt the data whether in transit or at rest. Countermeasure to protect confidentiality is to use encryption for all the type of data, strong access control and authentication mechanisms such as multiple factor authentication. Now, let's discuss integrity. The biggest question asked here is whether the data is correct or if the data is modified, is it modified correctly? For example, if you send a file to your friend, and the file will go over the internet and someone in the middle sniffs the packet and modified the content and send it to your friend. That's called man in the middle attack. So, how to protect the file from unauthorized modification? The answer is integrity. And its example is hashing or digital signatures. Also, integrity goes hand in hand with the concept of non repudiation, the inability to deny something. By using digital signatures in email, for example, a sender cannot deny having sent a message, and the recipient cannot claim the message received was different from the one sent. Non repudiation assists in ensuring integrity. Now, let's talk about availability. It asks whether the data is available. It means that networks, systems and applications are running when needed. It ensures that authorized users have timely, reliable access to resources when they are needed. Many things can jeopardize availability, including hardware or software failure, power failure, natural disasters, and human error. To help ensure availability, we can include redundancy in servers, networks, applications, and services, hardware fault tolerance for servers and storage, regular software patching and system upgrades, backups, comprehensive disaster recovery plans. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel.